so today we are starting the ant and the cricket written by ishop okay so let us start so before we start the poem we need to know some things we need to know some facts about this type of poem so this type of poem this is actually composed into a poem but actually it is a kind of story okay so it this kind of stories are known as fable as you can see from here fable is a story often with animals as characters that conveys a moral means a kind of story as you can see in different children book story we have stories about a fox and a duck and a hen or a or a monkey or a tiger okay they are the characters of the story they communicate with each other they talk and they form a kind of story line but in the end of those stories there will be a moral lesson something to learn from okay some kind of lesson for life my sound is too low i don't think so you just check your connection once okay so that is known as fable and now regarding the writer regarding aesop who was aesop so aesop was a greek person and he is uh, he was one of the ancient story teller story maker story composer ancient means it was around 600 bc he he born around 600 bc means before jesus christ was born so he belonged to that era so you can understand how old he must have been okay so and he is also from greece he is a greek person and he used to make this kind of fable story of uh, of different types and there was a collection of aesop's fable and this ant and the cricket this is one of the collected stories of aesop which is converted into a poem now let us start the poem which book we are doing your textbook we are doing the honey dew textbook okay the second chapter okay so let us start a silly young cricket accustomed to sing through the sun uh, through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf not a leaf on a tree oh what will become says the cricket of me at last by starvation and famine made bold all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold away he set off to a miserly ant to seek to see if to keep him alive he could grant him shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he, he would repay it tomorrow if not he must die of starvation and sorrow says the ant to the cricket i'm your servant and friend but we ants never borrow we ants never lend but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm quoth the cricket not i my heart was so light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say go then says the ant and dance the winter away thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket folks call this a fable i will warrant it true some crickets have four legs and some have two okay page number is 21 now now let us go by line by line explanation so there was one upon a time it's like that one upon a time there was a young cricket cricket is a kind of insect is who will be making sound as you know so a young silly cricket means he was stupid 
he was a fool he had he was completely naive okay he don't have a sense he don't have that uh, you know intelligence he don't he is not at all aware of what is going to happen so he was silly see he was silly and he was young and his favorite hobby was to sing he used to sing all the day through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring so he d- what he did in the summer month what we normally do in the summer month summer month is the time in the european society it is the time for uh, reaping the crops for growing crops for going and looking out for food for making food or gathering food you need to work a lot in the summer time okay but instead of working this cricket just because he is very silly he is not aware of the practical reality so what he did he just spent the entire summer and the good season in singing he just wasted the entire summer and the spring in singing now he started to complain why began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and the winter was come so now the winter was approaching the summer is getting over the winter is coming it's becoming colder day by day and when he is opening his cupboard the cricket is able to see that he has actually no food in his cu- in his cupboard okay it is empty and he started complaining why am my cupboard is empty something like that not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf on a tree so he was not able to get a single crumb crumb means crumb of a bread okay bread crumb any piece of bread okay he is not able to get even a piece of bread on the snow covered ground because even if there is any food even if there was any food like pieces of food like pieces of bread okay over that as because it is winter snow has fallen okay and snow has covered everything so he w- was not able to find even a single piece of food because everything was covered under snow not a flower could he see not only food there was nothing there was not a single flower not a leaf on a tree because in the winter what happens all the leaves becomes uh, all the le- uh, all the trees become bear they will re- remain without any leaves okay so without any flower without any leaves trees are like that and now he is getting tensed oh what will become of me now what will happen to me now he is getting worried the entire summer he had not thought about it okay now when the winter is there when he is actually not having anything now he is having the sense that what will happen to me at last by starvation and famine made bold means he was hungry for a long time he was starving and this condition of famine famine means without any kind of food the situation where you are not having any kind of food so this situation made made him bold bold means he got the courage all dripping with wet and trembling with cold now he went over the snow and he, as he was going over the snow snow is after what after all the uh, solidification of water so he got wet with the snow he was wet so he was wet in that trembling cold he was trembling he was shivering away he said to a miserly ant he went to visit a one ant okay and the ant is miserly miserly means he was very stingy okay he won't normally give away anything to anyone kind of selfish type of person um, selfish type of an uh, creature to see if to keep him alive he would grant him shelter from the rain so he went to the ant with a hope he wanted to see whether he could provide him some shelter means because it is snowing outside or it is raining outside and it's terribly cold so he needed some shelter and a mouthful of grain not much just one mouthful of grain if he could provide he wished only to borrow and that was not out of charity he is not asking for any donation okay he is not going to borrow he is just going to borrow and he is having the hope that i will just borrow something for this time and then i will pay him back or give it back to him in some other way 
so his wish was only to borrow he would repay it tomorrow that was his confidence that he will go he will ask the ant that please give me some food i am just borrowing some food from you i will give it back to you when the summer comes something like that if not he must die of starvation and sorrow so if the ant refuses to give him these two things then definitely he is going to die with starvation with hunger and with the sorrow with the grief now he went to the ant and he told everything now the ant is telling i am your servant and friend that i am your servant i am obviously a, not a big personality i am just a tiny little ant so i am your servant i am there to serve you okay i will serve all your purpose because you can see ants are always doing some kind of work daily okay so they are just keep on working they are taking the things from uh, in their head and moving in a in a uh, in a uh, queue okay taking their entire colony they are keep on working whole day so he is telling that i am your servant i'm there to serve you and i am a friend if you need me as a friend i am there to listen to you as a friend but we ant never borrow and we ant never lend so but we ants are having a kind of principle we follow a strict principle what is the principle we never borrow anything from anyone and we never lend anything to anyone means we do whatever we can do we are not we are there as a friend we are there to serve people but we don't give people anything or we don't take anything from people so that is the principle but he was curious but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing when the weather was warm so it was such a nice summer it was such a nice and warm summer why didn't you do anything you haven't done anything you haven't collected anything any kind of food what happened to you so the cricket said not i no everyone did i know but i didn't do that i didn't do any kind of gathering work my heart was so light means i was so happy inside i was feeling so light and happy inside that i sang the day and night the day and night i just spent singing so i was so happy that i spent the entire summer because it was such a warm and uh, sunny summer that i was so happy i spent the entire day and entire night just by singing for all nature looked so gay because everything around me was looking so beautiful gay means happy now the ant is getting angry you sang sir you say you are telling that you wasted the entire summer by singing great so go go then says the ant and dance the winter away fine if as you have been singing the uh, singing throughout the summer so you do one thing winter has come now you dance throughout the winter now what is the symbolic meaning of dance dance means the way the cricket was shivering it was like a movement of dance means you shiver and spend the winter by this uh, dancing movement of yours it's kind of criticism thus ending he has still lifted the wicket now the ant is really really very angry because this ants are very hard working creature and he is meeting a another creature who is completely lazy okay so he got so angry that he took a cricket uh, sorry, sorry took a wicket wicket means you know that you use for playing cricket so he took the cricket uh, wicket and um, uh, given a huge beating and drive him drove him off his home now this is the end of the story now the author is telling that folks call this a fable people folks means people people call this a fable fable means an imaginary story of characters with a moral lesson it's not true something which is not true something which is completely based on imagination so people call it as a fable but i will warrant it true but i will tell you this is not a fable just a fable this is a very true story why is true story because some crickets have four legs and some have two now what is this meaning of the last line some crickets have four legs do crickets really have four legs no crickets are insects they are having six legs so what is the meaning of four legs and two legs the author is trying to refer that cricket is a symbol of lazy creatures so not only the cricket is a lazy creatures but just like the cricket we have many lazy animals animals with four legs and we have also 
people means human beings with two legs so he is referring to the animals and the human beings who are as lazy as the cricket and they do the same thing when the time is there when the opportunity is there they won't do a single work for themselves but later on they will regret and they will expect help from others who have done the hard work okay so that is why he is telling this is not actually a fable this is a true story this happens to most of the lazy creatures of the world who are either animal or human okay so this is the end of the poem so you tell me whether this is clear or not is it clear okay so i will make you write some questions on this chapter in my next class okay so yeah that will be fine